hello everyone and welcome back to my channel sammy here with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing a plan with me planning the week of july 18th through the 24th it's been a week or so since i've done a plan with me and so i'm super excited to jump back into this like always we are in my Erin Condren Life Planner. I have my Oh What A Week notepad to kind of guide me with things. And then I grab some mild liners that kind of match my kit for the week. And then I'm using the Sarasa Zebra Clip Pen in the 0.5 tip. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. I wanted to show you guys some of my planner as it's kind of progressed um but we have my behind the scenes page that's going really well and the memory keeping on my monthly spread has also been going well and i'm loving how this is turning out and then this is actually this last week um the day i'm filming it it's friday um but we went out of town and had a little vacation up in Island Park. My family has a cabin up there. And so we actually left this Saturday and then we got home Thursday and it was a lot of fun. And I didn't do a plan with me for this week, obviously, because I wasn't here and I really didn't use my planner. And so instead, I thought it would be a lot of fun to use this as a strictly memory keeping spread. The stickers are from the Christian Designs sticker book that you can get at Michael's. And then I just added all my pictures and did journaling. Um, and then tomorrow, which is Saturday, we'll be back to normal. So I did make a to-do list of just some things that I need to get done. So I'm ready for the week ahead, but I love how some weeks I am just legitimately planning and then other weeks I can use this to keep my memories and I really like how versatile I've made my planner this year. And so it's not strictly for productive planning because if that was the case this page would have been blank or I would have used a kit and decorated it but there would have been nothing on it and so I really like how I kind of got creative with this and just put all of our fun little pictures here but anyway here is this upcoming week um when this video goes live it will be Monday and so I um yeah and so here is this week um i am using the fireworks kit from hand can plan i love her stickers and she actually just did a new sticker release i don't know if they're still available i think the stickers are still available i just don't think that you can get the discount that she was offering but um she has released some new stickers so i went a little overboard before our trip to make sure I got an order in, but I'm so excited for what's coming. I will definitely be doing a sticker haul when I get all my stickers because it's the most stickers I have ever purchased from her. And I'm just super excited, but that is to come. But this is the fireworks kit. It has a 4th of July theme to it, but I saved it for this week because in Utah, <laughs> we have what's called pioneer days which is just like another fourth of july celebratory week slash day um pioneer day is actually july 24th and it's when we celebrate when the pioneers came over and um established utah but it's we normally have like a week of festivities that go on at least where I live in Utah. And so um, I thought having a kit like this would still be fun because we still do fireworks and all of that fun stuff. And so anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm getting better with these planner things, I feel like. And I actually pre-prepped 
everything. So the only thing that I have to technically prep is or do on here is write my to do's. We are going to use this washi to cover up the months, maybe, come on. I feel like I need to, yeah, I need to invest in tweezers because sometimes it doesn't cut the way I want it to. And then I just end up ripping the sticker. But we have Monday, Tuesday. And Wednesday, a little bit more about hand can plan stickers. They are definitely paper stickers, um, but I love them. I love the designs. I love how cute they are. I love her font. Um, and so they're a lot different than Christian designs. Christian designs are more of like a vellum sticker, where these are not that. Um, just a heads up. Before you buy these and want to remove them you probably can't the way you can a Christian design sticker okay I probably will just ramble honestly throughout this plan with me I my head is like foggy for some reason and I feel like it's a mixture of we just went on vacation, but I need a vacation now that I got home from vacation. I'm exhausted. And it's also, I feel like I kind of have nerves because now that I'm back from the only vacation we really planned on for the summer, I am freaking out because school is on the horizon and I'm excited to go back to school but at the same time I'm not and like I don't know I just have a lot of mixed feelings about teaching right now um it's just really stressful and I'm trying to be positive and think about it in a positive light, but there's just a lot of unknowns. Um, I am not worried really at all about my ninth grade classes. And I think that's because I enjoy ninth grade the most, but um, I also know how stinky these ninth graders were as eighth graders because I taught them as eighth graders and they were pretty bad. Um, but I am hopeful that they've grown up a little bit over the summer and if not, I know what to expect from them. The seventh graders though, that are now eighth graders, that's who I'm a little hesitant about. And that's because I heard that they were worse than our eighth graders last year and I don't know any of them. And so I'm a little hesitant. I'm not gonna lie. Um, last year with my eighth graders, mon my classroom was one of the classrooms that got vandalized during like that TikTok challenge where they would steal stuff and vandalize things. <sighs> that happened to me. My eighth graders trashed my room a few different times when I was out for medical reasons and just being sick. And so to say that I'm scared about that happening again this year, um, yeah, that's just how I'm feeling. And also I got back from our trip and I'm like, I don't even have anything planned. Like the teacher that I work with, we have a plan, but at the same time, we don't, if that makes sense. Um, like we know what we're teaching. We just haven't like hashed anything out um, to an extreme. And so I am trying 
to figure that out. We are actually meeting this week to figure that out, but we're like changing everything because last year of how crazy our students were, I don't know. It was just a lot. <laughs> and so, um, I'm trying to be positive. We're trying to make sure things are better for them and that we're actually helping them and meeting them where they are. Um, but it's a lot like we are going back to the basics of like spelling and how to write sentences and all of that stuff and I'm fine doing that if I need to but at the same time like I don't know it's just hard because these kids should already know how to do that since they're in junior high but it is what it is um as a teacher one of my biggest things is meeting my students where they are and so I will do that for them and I want to help them it's just knowing how to help them if that makes sense but anyway that's all I'm really going to talk about work in school because it it's stressing me out just talking about it um but on Monday I have my my morning routine and then for to do's I need to brainstorm stuff for our meeting and then I have to go drop off a driving paper to my neurologist I have to do this either it depends on how long they say I can go but um since I had a seizure last year the spurts are a little bit shorter I need to get paperwork signed saying that I can drive. And so, um, there's that. I hope, well, I know that I will be able to because my doctor told me I don't have to see her for another year. And so I am hopeful about that. And then, routine. Okay, I guess I'll just write all these in now. I think I'm gonna highlight them because That's the type of mood I'm in right now. And then my sidebar, I'm gonna put the meals that we're gonna eat this week in there, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because I haven't, honestly, I haven't even meal planned yet. And then my habits is just focusing on reading my scriptures and drinking more water because it is freaking hot in Utah right now and I feel like I'm like melting and I'm not trying to like sound dramatic or anything but that's just how I feel and it makes me sad um okay let's go ahead and do Tuesday that's cute okay Tuesday my mom does this story time thing with her in her neighborhood where she reads stories outside to kids and she likes it when me or my daughter basically and I we go and do that with her um, and then on Tuesday I'm actually gonna use one of these flags so I don't forget I'm gonna write goal breakdown um because I have a um goal session the next day 
and um this a couple weeks ago actually it was on friday july 8th plan with lakin had a second like second half success um workshop type thing that you could either go to if you live close to new york or you could watch it virtually if you could not make it out to new york and that's what i did and it was so good i was a little hesitant about doing it or not just because we were leaving out of town um around the same time and so i just didn't know what that was going to look like but i'm super glad that i decided to do it because it was a lot of fun and I learned so much and I'm actually, that's why I wrote Goal Breakdown because what she did is she taught us how to break down our goals from a big goal down to action steps and we just focused on one goal. So I focused on my health goal and just things that I can do based on how I'm feeling energy wise and all of that. And so... It was just really good. I loved it. Um, and so I want to do that with all my goals before I plan out my goals for August. Um, let's see. Okay, and then on Wednesday, we have that planning meeting with my coworker. I don't know if we're doing it at 9 or 10, so I'm just going to put that over both of these. And we'll figure it out. And then I have that goal thing at 5. With Planet with Lakin. And I love her. Um, she has an Instagram. She's on YouTube. Just search Plan with Lakin. She's amazing. Um, she's helped me a lot with um, my goal setting and whatnot just from her videos, but I've also joined her Patreon group, which has been a game changer as well. And I love it. I am so glad that I decided to join Patreon. And she's the only person that I really am on Patreon for, but I love it. I'm in the $10 tier, so it's either $5, $10, or $30. And it, honestly, the only difference between the $10 and the $30 one is that if you do the $30 subscription, you get her phone number and you can text her and like talk about your goals. And I feel like right now I am good with just the $10 one. I have access to everything else like these planning sessions and all of that. And so I feel like I'm good there, but I do love that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, just that I have that available to me. And so if you've been thinking about doing something like that, I would definitely look into it. I also forgot that I need to film on Tuesday, so we're gonna go back and try and film and edit. And then on Wednesday, it is trash day. Okay. That is the first half of my week. On to the second half. I really wish on these font things they had more to do than just one. Just saying. That's the only downside I feel like right now. But it's fine. Um, I do have a couple to-dos that I need to get done. So let's do this there. And then also, 
I know this won't show up maybe, but it's the closest thing I have. Thursday, I feel like it's a pretty quiet day. I only have, I'm going to try some more curriculum brainstorming after I meet on Wednesday. And then, um, I was also going to film some more. Just for fun days. Okay. That's really all that I have on Thursday as of right now, but I don't feel like anything crazy is going to pop up then, so we should be good. Oh, I actually think I'm going to go back. I did red. I did nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put this right here and then I'm just gonna leave it blank because things might come up. <laughs> and yeah, okay. And then Saturday, Bump in working down here. Working working. It's a pretty relaxed week. I almost wrote PM. <laughs> um, so that will be nice. But I feel like, I'm really actually excited for content that I'm pulling out in August. I can't share too much yet, but I think it will be a lot of fun. I have a series coming out that I'm super excited about. Also with goal setting have jumped on the Kanban board train and figuring out a way to use that in my life. So that will be fun. Um, I need to get groceries. But I plan on having a video out probably not next month about the Kanban board but probably in either September or October probably October, um, just to talk about how that's going. And then, there was another one I wanted to bring you. I do need a mail plan on Friday so I can grocery shop on Saturday. But just a lot of fun, different things coming out. I am really loving this little community I'm building on YouTube. Um, and so thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing. Um, another huge thing I feel like you could do is just follow me on Instagram because I post between two and three videos a week on YouTube, but I do a lot more talking and sharing about my planner and stuff on Instagram. And so... I feel like that is where you're going to get the most content, if that makes sense. Um, and so, uh, Instagram 
is linked above or in the description below if you want to check that out. I do share a lot of teaching stuff on there as well and then my daughter and just mom stuff but I do share a lot of my planners and all of that and so anyway there's a plug for you to go check out my Instagram. Saturday I'm really excited because we are going to the Pioneer Days Rodeo and so that'll be fun first rodeo to go as a family um and then on Sunday It goes till 11, but it's fine. And then, really, that's it. Put this here. That's the deal. I'll do that for planners. for myself just self-care I try to do self-care throughout the week but sometimes that doesn't happen okay so I do have some leftover stickers not a lot I do have this washi and so I'll probably use the washi and maybe like the flags and stuff in my daily planner um but here is the full week, and I really like how it turned out. It's super cute, really fun. This will be my last 4th of July holiday spread, and so I really like how it turned out. It turned out super cute and lots of fun. I'm still embracing that white space aspect of planning, and so I really like this. It turned out way cute. Um, once again, this is a hand can plan kit. It's called Fireworks. And I have the full kit. It came with five sheets of stickers. And so um, you can buy bits and pieces of it if you want, but this is the full kit. But anyway, you guys, this is my week. Let me know in the comments something fun you're doing this week or just a happy thought you want to share for the week ahead or just whatever you want to share um, down in the comments below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my planning content. Like I said, there are some very fun things to come in the month of August, and so you don't want to miss out on all of that. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later.